It just I? said that there was an incident. They were on top of it, but it didn't specify what the incident was. Whitefish Bay High School sent out this email to parents Tuesday afternoon, stating that an incident between two students occurred at 5.15 p.m. on April 18th in a stairwell. As soon as officials were given notice, they contacted police. I would be concerned as a parent. Sure. According to the police report, an alleged sexual assault took place after track practice. A 16-year-old girl told officers she was forced to perform sex acts on a 15-year-old boy, saying she, quote, told him to stop and let me go. The report says she punched the suspect in the stomach, then ran away. The accused 10th grader, however, tells a different story. In the same report, he told police the girl touched his private. He thought to himself, we should not be doing this in school, but did not stop her. At school Tuesday, students were shocked to hear the allegations. For something like that to happen, it's just like, it shook it's like sad. the whole community. It reflects badly on our school. They say they didn't know what incident had occurred and instead rumors spread. I know that parents are kind of confused as to like what was going on because obviously it was really vague. The superintendent told Fox 6 the release was written in a way to protect the students involved while disciplinary action is being taken. But parents like Alan Wallach question the wording. I know yes, I would have liked to have known what the incident was. Police are recommending that the 15 year old face second degree sexual assault charges in children's court. Reporting in Whitefish Bay, Angelica Duria, Fox 6 News.